How do you avoid bullets? Jump into the water. The main character of a movie gets into a gunfight, and they often escape into the water when in danger. The enemy that is chasing the main character shoots into the water, and the main character slips away. But is this kind of scene realistically possible? Real bullets fly thousands of meters in the air, but we know that in the water, they fly less distance. So why does this happen? When a bullet is fired, the spiral groove inside the barrel is called a rifling. When a bullet is fired, it moves along the barrel with the gas that it generates, and the rifling is responsible for rotating the warhead. Why does the rifling rotate? Many people believe the rifling increases penetration through rotation, like drills. However, this is false information, and it has nothing to do with the bullet's strength. The reason why the warheads are rotated is to provide rotational inertia, allowing the bullet to be less affected by air resistance and external factors, and causing the bullet to fly in a stable manner. The bullets fly further as a result, and air resistance reduces the possibility of the bullet flipping over or flying in a different direction. So a bullet increases stability and range due to rotational force in the air. But does the same principle apply in water? The bullets do not fly further in the water compared to in the air. This is due to the pressure of water, or drag, which interferes with the motion of an object in the opposite direction of motion during travel. As such, the rotational force of the bullet in the water loses its rotational inertia due to drag and cannot fly in the water, making it fall to the floor. Water firearms were developed in the past to overcome this issue, but even these bullets can only travel up to a few meters, making them less practical. In addition, shooting at an angle makes the bullets bounce off without going into the water. Then what happens when you fire a gun in the water? You may think that the gunpowder will become wet and will not fire well, but there's no problem. A Norwegian physicist named Andrew Wall once conducted a dangerous experiment in which he shot himself in the water. Fortunately, the bullet traveled about one meter and fell down, so the experiment ended without any serious injuries. You can avoid getting shot by diving only a meter for handguns and two meters for rifles. I hope this doesn't happen, but if you're in a situation where you have to avoid getting shot, wouldn't diving into the water increase your chances of survival? Today we learned about avoiding bullets by jumping in the water. 